So sometimes I find myself doing the unthinkable. Hear me out. I know it's, it's weird. Reading manga. There was a manga that was recommended to me from my friend Wake when I asked him like, can you recommend me a manga that has not been given an anime adaptation yet? And he said, Don the Don. So the series follows two characters, Momo Ayase, or they call her Mrs. Ayase, and Ken Takamura, and they call him Okuru. Pretty much with these two characters, when it comes to Miss Ayase, she is a spirit believer because her grandmother is a, a spirit medium, but she completely disregards the belief of UFOs and aliens. And Okurun believes in UFOs and aliens, but completely disregards the belief of spirits. So when these two finally encounter each other, what Okarun and Momo do is Okarun sends Momo over to an abandoned hospital where there's a lot of UFO sightings and a lot of alien activity. And Momo Ayase sends Okarun over to a tunnel like this where it's supposedly haunted. What ends up happening is both supernatural existences end up happening where Momo Oyase runs into aliens who wants to steal her genitals. Okarun runs into Turbo Granny. What's really cool is that Okarun ends up getting some cursed powers because of his encounter with Turbo Granny, but in turns it ends up, you know, stealing his penis. Look guys, I don't care if I get cool powers, I am not getting my penis taken away from me. I'd rather die. Okarun ends up being able to teleport via a cell phone to where Momo is ends up saving her where on top of Okarun having these cursed powers Momo awakens her spiritual powers. Momo Ayase has to contain Okarun's cursed abilities with her spiritual powers to keep him in check and what happens is they end up running into various curses and various aliens alongside with their adventures together. I know this sounds like a lot because that was actually a lot but I definitely will say that the manga interprets what I said way better and more fleshed out than how I explained it in a really really good way which made it so entertaining now I'm basing all of this off of volume one because that's all I've read and I'm gonna continue to read it the standout thing about this series I feel is that it's kind of like a different take on the supernatural series right with the existence of aliens and them fighting aliens and them fighting spirits which this one kind of fuses both where they end up finding fighting kind of reminds me of Mob Psycho 100 because Mob Psycho also did that as well and I actually really enjoyed it but they didn't fight the aliens they ended up just hanging out with the aliens which I thought was pretty funny and cool and also the dynamic that you would get with Miss Ayase and Okarun kind of getting to know each other and befriending each other throughout the series and them working together to fight whatever they encounter is just it's, it's, an, it's a nice watch it's a nice like I don't know if it's going to be romantic because like I said I'm only on volume one but it was a nice read now I do think that Momo Ayase and Okuru definitely have such great quirky personalities and it makes me like this series a lot. They're like neither cringy or just annoying. I think just the dynamic of these two getting to know each other and growing as their powers grow too, it was just very enjoyable. It's not like overbearing. Like most characters that we get when they're introduced, like some people have these quirkiness about them that it's like, man, they're just too loud or man, they just won't shut the heck up. With Okuru and Miss Ayase, I liked it. I like their characters a lot and I could actually see a lot of people and uh, later on cosplaying Ayase a little bit in the future. But the real question is, if this was adapted into an anime, would it do well? And I think so. I think this would make such a great anime. I would hope that it would do really well. I mean, there's a lot of weird anime that I feel like do extremely well when they're like fighting on weird devils like Chainsaw Man or taking on cursed spirits like Jujutsu Kaisen. This is in a, in a way it, its own little take of them just, at least from what I got from the volume one, just learning more about their powers and encountering different maybe aliens and different spirits. I think a great animation studio for this would probably be like some like studio bones because i think they did a, such a phenomenal job with mob psycho 100 and especially how they made the uh the cursed evil spirits look really weird like when dimple was going full ham i think they did such a great job in creating these weird characters and i feel like they would definitely do don da don justice so yeah if i think it got the right animation studio behind it i think it'll do really really well and i think it'll look phenomenal but yeah, if you guys have any other manga suggestions that you guys want me to check out, let me know in the comment section below. Try to make it a manga that has not been given an anime adaptation confirmation and also physical copy because I like physical copies. I want to collect the, phys the first volume of the physical copies I end up reading. I think the next one I'm going to be doing is Sakamoto Days. Yeah, I'm excited.